All right, so I have an interesting question here, okay, getting back to neurobiology. It says, draw and explain the neural circuit that could account for spe the specific orientation sensitivity of a cell in an orientation column. Okay, so they want to know how this sensitivity could be accounted for, all right? Now, this involves a cortical neuron, and it turns out that the cortical neurons do not respond to spots of light, okay? You might recall that spots of light work for the ganglion cells, um, but spots of light do not work for these cortical neurons, okay? They, re they respond to bars of light, okay? Bars of light that cover the entire cell, essentially. Um, and those bars of light have to be in very, very specific orientations, okay? So if they're not in the specific orientation, if it's not a bar of light, it's not going to work. So essentially, if we set up a circuit with four LGN neurons, now you might not know what LGN stands for. LGN stands for lateral geniculate nucleus, and I have a little definition down here to say what the LGN is. So the LGN is the lateral genic geniculate nucleus, and is the primary relay center for visual information received from the retina of the eye. The LGN is found in the thalamus of the brain. Okay, so it's found in the thalamus of the brain, and it's the primary relay center for visual information received by the retina. All right? So essentially, the information is being transmitted to the retina, and from the retina, this information is received by this LGN, or lateral geniculate nucleus. Okay, that's how it works. That's how the circuitry works. So getting back to our circuit that we have to design, okay? To set the circuit up, essentially you want four um, LGN neurons, and you want them to be responding to their adjacent ganglion cell, of course, okay, because like I said, this is sort of a circuit. We're going from these ganglion cells to the LGN neurons, all right, so this is essentially how the circuit's set up, and we want them to be responding to that, to the stimulus at those ganglion cells. Okay, so in a sen I said in an on center off surround receptive field. So you want to define the receptive field that you're using. It's either on center off surround, or it's or it's um on surround off center. Okay, it depend it depends on it matter. It essentially works the same way, but it depends on how you define it when you're draw when you're making a drawing like this. You have to specify to show that you know the difference between the two. So. I'm going to demonstrate it for the on center off surround receptive field and essentially what happens here and I'm going to draw the picture first before I go through the explanation we have these cells right here and they look something like this okay so we'll have I'll draw four of them okay one alright so we have these four cells now these cells I'm going to define as my LGN neurons. Okay, so over here I'm going to say LGN neurons. Okay, so those are my LGN neurons. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those by, you know, a regular synaptic connection, just like I showed in previous videos, to the cortical neurons. So I'm going to call this right here my... cortical neuron. Okay, so that's my cortical neuron and again you want to just show that these are coming directly from that dot that I placed in the center. These are going to go just something like this. Going to have these four connections being made here. Alright, so those four connections are going to be made and over here you're going to have what essentially works out to being a set of action potentials are going to occur here, okay, on this axon. So you're talking about your axon right here. So I'll define that as my axon. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say that this is all positive, okay? Each one of these is exhibiting positive, okay? It's being excited, okay? There's an excitatory stimulus there. All right, and then what I'm going to show is I'm going to show my bar of light. Okay, my bar of light has to cross right through the center. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, like, you know, a dotted line crossing directly through the center of this, okay? Just like that. So this right here is going to be my bar of light, okay? And notice that it's stimulating all four cells, okay? And that's one of the big issues here. So a bar of light through the center of the LGN neuron 
will provide the necessary stimulus to bring the cortical neuron to threshold, okay? And once it's at threshold, if you recall, the action potential is an all or nothing process. So once it reaches threshold, this is going to fire, okay, so these are action potentials. So that's going to fire an action potential. So basically, the light through the center of one LGN neuron will not provide enough stimulus. So if I have light only through the center of one of these, uh, just one bar of light through one of these LGN neurons, it's not going to provide the necessary stimulus to bring this cortical neuron to threshold. Okay, so in order to reach threshold, I, ha I have to have the coordinated firing or the coordinated action of all four LGN neurons. So all four LGN neurons have to fire at the same time in a coordinated process, okay? Essentially, they all have to be brought to threshold at the same time. They all have to fire at the same time to create enough stimulus over here, to create enough of a change in membrane potential that's going to fire this axon right here. That's going to fire this action potential, these action potentials right here, okay? So essentially, once that happens, you're good. You'll be able to then get the necessary re response. So this will provide the sufficient stimulus to bring the cortical neuron to threshold and fire an action potential. So essentially you need the coordinated action of all four of these LGN um, neurons. You also need a bar of light that's going to cross through. In the case of the neuron that I, the specific cell that I set up, it's an on center, okay, off surround, so that light needs to stimulate right through the center of those cells. Okay, and what that will do is that will provide enough stimulus to get this cortical neuron to fire. And you know, according to the definition, this these LGN um, nucleus, um, lateral geniculate nucleus, is the primary relay center for visual information received by the retina. So it's going to the retina. It's firing. It's causing these to get excited and fire action potentials, which are resulting in the stimulus of this um, cortical neuron over here.